edition of the Southeastern Conference on ABC. The champions are the Sooners of Oklahoma. Josh Heifel will not be returning. We need to go in a different direction. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to the Gaylord Family Oklahoma Memorial Stadium in Norman, Oklahoma. This is home of the the Oklahoma Sooners is taking on the the Tennessee Volunteers. And I can tell you, it's a big game. The crowd is here, and this stadium is so packed today, and it's including the student sections and more, and uh, so much more to come. Welcome. That's Chris Farr on the right, that's Kirk Kirkshaw on the left. To this night, since then, what a subplot that Heifel brings his volunteer team back in here. Oklahoma dominated the Big 12. They won 14 out of 28 championships. That's incredible. They have 50 conference titles in their history. It's on the scoreboard here. But when will they get 51? As they join the SEC, nobody's calling them contenders this season, that's for sure. No, they've been kind of on the back burner. So many other powerhouses in this conference. I, I think the thing is, you just spent 38 months, basically three years to adjust and, and get your roster ready to get into this league. And tonight we find out, make no mistake, all those questions about this team around this league and around the country about OU only motivated them. I think they're very excited to show what they can do tonight. There's some fan anxiety. They've seen the stupid statistics that Heifel's Tennessee offense has put up, albeit against suspect competition. What we know, though, is they got an incredibly talented quarterback, Nico Iamaliava, a young guy making his first true road start tonight. Yeah, and this is, I think, an opportunity to really see how good he is at this stage of his career. We know he's got a brilliant future, but he played in Charlotte against North Carolina State. He's proven to be not a very good football team. It's a different challenge, which is great, and I think he welcomes that challenge. He said all week, hey, I've always loved playing on the road i like being challenged and tonight if he can play well and tennessee can keep this thing going i think on a national level people really start to point to this brand as being a real contender Fred Venables loves defense and he loves a challenge. He's got one tonight. Love to get his offense going because the Sooners haven't thrown for 200 yards in a game yet. Jackson Arnold linked with Nico, part of that brilliant yeah. quarterback class of 2023. He's been a tough runner, Kirk, but the offense really hasn't clicked yet. No, it has. And they've had so many young faces. They've had some injuries on the offensive line and at receiver. The good news is, and we'll talk more about that, they're getting healthier tonight. Jackson Arnold, dual threat guy, a lot of confidence, but he's young and he's still growing and learning what he can do. I think their deep, the OU defense with Brent Venables, that's his calling card. They've got to keep him in his game, hold up against Nico, and then see if Jackson Arnold can make enough plays with his legs and his arm to see if they can pull off an upset here in Norman. Tennessee up at number seven, looks like a playoff contender, maybe even a national title contender. We'll learn more about that tonight as the Sooners begin their rigorous run in the Southeastern Conference. And when we come back, kickoff will be next. When we come back. 